Thank you for buying an Intex Rectangular Ultra Frame Above Ground Pool. Setting it up is simple and easy. Assembly requires two people. No tools are required. This video will give you a quick overview of your new Intex Rectangular Ultra Frame Pool and how to set it up. There are also important detailed instructions in your owner's manual. Watching this video will help you visualize details of the pool setup. The pool shown is the 5.49 meter by 2.74 meter by 1.32 meter rectangular ultra frame pool. Your pool parts may differ in number and type or color depending on your model. Check that you have all the parts listed in your manual. Do not assemble the pool if parts are damaged or missing. For replacement parts, please visit our website at www.intexcorp.com. It is important to follow these guidelines when determining where to place your pool. Set up on a completely level surface. Do not set up on mud, sand, or loose soil. Failure to set up on level, compact ground could result in the pool's collapse and a person in the pool could be swept out as the water rushes out. First, make sure your pool will be within reach of a garden hose and an RCD or GFCI electrical outlet. The pool cannot be moved anywhere after it is filled with water. Locate the pool at least 3.5 meters away from any electrical outlets. Envision the traffic patterns around the pool. Locate it on the ground where the hose connections and electric line will not be trip hazards. Check local requirements. Some communities require fencing or wall enclosures. Before unrolling the pool, clear the area of any objects that might puncture the liner and avoid dragging it in place. Use the ground cloth under the pool to protect it. Make sure the pool is right side up. Look for the pool connection holes and rotate the pool so they will face the filter pump. Smooth out the liner and center it on the ground cloth. Water inlet and outlet holes will be on the side of the pool where the filter pump will be placed. Close the drain valve from inside and outside. Place the beams and smaller parts on each side of the pool. Assembly will be with the liner flat on the ground. Let the sun warm up the liner for easier insertion of the beams. Each long side of the 5.49 meter pool uses one beam labeled A, two beams labeled B, and one beam labeled C. The number of B beams on one side depends on the size of your pool. Please see the manual for the number of beams per side for your pool. Start on a long side of the pool with the holes in the sleeve on your right as you face the pool. Slide the end of a C beam with the C label into the sleeve. A little water on the beam may make it easier. Line up the hole at the bottom of the C beam with the end of a B beam with a lock button. Depress the lock button and slide the beams together until the button snaps into place. Slide the two beams further into the sleeve. Attach the other B beams in the same way. Make absolutely sure that the lock buttons snap into place before you slide the beams into the sleeve. Slide the end of the A beam with a lock button into the last B beam. Once the entire assembly is inside the sleeve, rotate it to align the holes in the beams with the holes in the sleeve. Assemble the beams on the other side of the pool in the same way. Each end of the 5.49 meter pool uses two beams labeled D and F. Larger pools also use beams labeled E. The number of E beams depends on the size of your pool. Start at one end of your pool with the hole in the sleeve on your right as you face the pool. Slide the end of an F beam with the F label into the sleeve. If you have E beams, slide an E beam into the F beam and then add the D beam. Otherwise, use the D beam directly. Check that all lock buttons snap into place. Once the beams are inside the sleeve, rotate them to align the holes. Assemble the beams at the other end of the pool in the same way.
Arrange the U-shaped side supports, the restrainer straps, and the black connector rods around the pool. The number of supports depends on the size of your pool. The 5.49 meter pool uses four supports on either side and two supports on each end. Assemble the U-shaped side supports and the restrainer straps. Slide the restrainer straps over the open end of the U-shaped supports and position them in the center of the U. The straps should face up. The open ends of the U-shaped side supports feature double buttons. Squeezing the bottom buttons depresses the top buttons, allowing the end caps to slide into the beams inside the sleeve. Keeping the pool liner absolutely flat, lift a U-shaped support and line up the ends with the holes in a beam. While pressing down the lower buttons on the support, slide the support into the beam. Lay the U-shaped support on the ground. Pull the strap under the liner out as far as it will go. Lock all the supports into the beams and pull out all the liner straps all around the pool in the same way. The short straps at the bottom of the liner must be linked to the restrainer straps on the U-shaped supports. Link the liner straps and the restrainer straps on the other three walls, leaning the walls against each other as you finish each wall. Insert one of the four corner joints into the end of a short beam, keeping the other end pointing up. Lift the adjacent wall and insert the other end of the joint into the beam. Install the other three corner joints. The corner joints do not lock into place, allowing the sides of the pool to expand and retract. Pull out all the U-shaped supports and center the restrainer straps again. Smooth out the bottom of the liner. Carefully push out the liner walls from inside the pool where the pool floor and pool sides meet. Now check your work. The U-shaped side supports should be properly aligned and locked into place. The restrainer straps should be pulled as far from the pool as possible and centered in the U of the supports. The U-shaped supports should be centered on the reinforcements if installed. Before filling your pool with water, Recheck that the filter pump holes are facing the filter pump location. Put a small amount of water in the pool to cover the bottom. This will let you check if the pool is level. If it is not level, you must change the location or grade the area under the pool. There are two water connection holes. The inlet hole is at the upper left as you face the pool. The hole on the right is the outlet hole which returns water to the pump. Begin with the inlet valve. Unscrew the aeration adapter and set it aside for the moment. Unscrew the large nut, leaving the flat washer on the valve connector. From inside the pool, insert the connector through the inlet hole, leaving the flat washer between the connector and the pool wall. From outside the pool, screw the large nut back on the threaded connector and tighten it as much as possible using fingers only. Do not use tools. Finger tighten the aeration adapter back onto the threaded adapter. With the step washer in place on the plunger valve, screw it back on the threaded connector. Close the plunger valve by turning the handle clockwise until it stops. The hole on the right is for returning water to the filter pump. Unscrew the large nut from the outlet strainer and, leaving the flat washer on the connector, Insert the connector through the outlet hole in the liner. The flat washer will be between the connector and the inside of the pool wall. From outside the pool, screw the large nut back onto the threaded connector, making sure it is finger tight. Do not use tools. With the step washer in place on the plunger valve, screw it back on the threaded connector. Close the plunger valve by turning the handle clockwise. See pump manual for completing the installation of your pump. Hydro aeration technology provides some excellent benefits for your Intex pool. 
Enhanced water circulation pushes sediments through the filtration system while air is mixed with water to promote the oxidation of manganese and iron elements. Your pool water sparkles with clarity. Once the pool is filled, there should be no object within 1.2 meters of the pool that a child could climb on to enter the pool. Post the pool safety sign included with your pool where it will be seen by all pool users. Larger pools may come with a pool cover, which should only be used when the pool is not in use. However, these are not safety covers and will not keep children out of the pool. Children must not play on or under a cover. Two people may be needed to pull the cover over your pool. Never install or remove the cover while you're in the pool. Congratulations, you have successfully set up your Intex Rectangular Ultra Frame Pool. Please continue to the filter pump menu on this DVD where you will select the filter pump appropriate for your pool.